Some education uh, developments from around the country before we get back to the politics of the day and the highlights there. If you struggled with online learning during the pandemic, then you should hear about Hampton School in Nanyuki. Although it's a physical school with physical facilities, it's decided to go fully virtual. Interactions between teachers and pupils is all done online. Our Nyeri reporter Milita Oletengis closed the distance between his base and Nanyuki to find out more about this community that is permanently online. The name of the non-fiction poem. Class is in session at the Hampton Online School. That's done in a way that... Virtual learning was not a common practice in this school, but after the COVID-19 pandemic took root in Kenya, the school had to find innovative ways to ensure the students continue with their curriculum. We went for training with Google and uh, started Google Classrooms, which is an online platform where the teacher and the children can interact virtually. The children can also interact with their friends on uh, the online platform. The students are able to attend classes using their computers for audio and visual interactions with their teachers and other students, either from home or at this boarding facility set up by the school in Nanyuki. We felt it is better for us to find uh, a way where we can be online permanently so that we are not affected when schools are closed down, if the number of cases go up, if uh, there is a lockdown. Uh, for us, school will continue uh, without interruption. Using the Google Classroom platform quiz forms, the school which offers IGCSE, 844 and the CBC curriculum is able to assess the progress of the students. You um, learn different skills such as being um, honest to yourself because if you don't learn those things, like right now, um, if you're in class you could just watch YouTube. But for most of us we've trained ourselves to know that what we're doing is serious and we should concentrate. We require them to have a gadget that uh, if it's a phone it has Android capability uh, or an iPad or a basic laptop because Google Classroom is very light. We have some uh, children who are up country and uh, just with bundles they are able to do our classes without a lot of interruption. Apart from providing education for pupils, this method of learning also lowers the cost of operation at the school. So there are all these costs that a school has to lay on the, on the parents. But with an online school, about 40% of these costs have been cut off. But there's a limit as to how far you can push education online. When it comes to national exams, candidates will have to join the rest of the country in physically sitting their exams. Milita, Oletenges, NTV.